Okay, guys. We're returning, and I'm trying to f figure out how to get over there. Um, it's a button here. But there's a button. Oh, what's this? That seems like. Okay. That was simple. Let's go up. Let's move away from the center of the earth. I don't know what this is. What's this? Is this a door? Can I go through here? No, that's locked. Okay, that was a waste of time. Can I go through there? I don't think I can go through there either. Wood. One of these doors is the right one. Maybe it's... Okay, don't walk off the edge. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Scratch. No hand holding. Yes, up. I am perfectly fine with up. Totally fine with that. I can live with up. Up. That sounds like a good name for like I don't know. An antidepressant, yeah. But like up. Uh. Alright, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Exit. We have more tests. Okay, let's. I need a cube. Oh, it goes kind of slowly. Oh, well, got a button here. Hello there, Mr. Button. Oh wait, no, that's not a that's not a button. <laughs> that's a cube. The lab boys nope. just informed uh. me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. They gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. <laughs> I like Cave Johnson, he's pretty funny. It's the elevator I arrived in. Okay. Where do I go now? Uh, oh, wait. Uh. What? What? The, what the? I don't. What? Oh wait, is it? There we go. Uh. Let's go over here. I don't know if that's the right way. What's over here? Is this a dead end? Uh, no. Uh, actually it kind of is. Okay, let's go the other way. This next test we put nano particles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules into the world and your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Cute. What 
can I put a portal on here? That's where I came from. Correct? Yes, this is where I came from. Um... Oh, wait, I think I get it. Nope, maybe not. I gotta get, like, a good lineup. Okay, no. Oh! No! There we go. No. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Let's not screw this up. Come on. There we go. Okay. Fast. But I'll make it there. I'm determined. Ooh, didn't want to fall down there. What did that do? I don't know. Exit. All right. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Uh, okay, so it's apparently radioactive. I think. I'm pretty sure that that's what that means. Pretty sure. Yeah. All these science uh, fears are made of asbestos, view. by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. This... It's pretty funny. Where do we have to go? It's big spheres, I don't know. It doesn't seem like something to... test with. Actually... I can't just do that. I can't stick a portal anywhere. Oh wait, what's that? What's that? I think I found it. I think I found it. Yes! Finally! Ha! I like your style! 
You make up yeah. your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. So where was that? I don't know. Don't screw this up. Hooray! Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Ooh, okay, that's not good. Okay. These seem a lot more challenging for some reason. Mainly because I can't find my way into the place. But, unless this one's really fast, so I'm gonna have to cut this off here. So, we'll just see how far we now, can get. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. What's this thing? But, if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're gonna need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. I don't know what I just... Oh, well, wait a minute. I didn't totally want to... Wow, okay. That's just awesome. Boing. Oh, that was a quick one. Okay. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. over here. Wow, okay. Okay, that's... I screwed that up. But, okay, I'm gonna have to stop this now, guys. So, thank you for watching. Painfully. Um, hopefully not. But, uh, remember to leave a rating. As well appreciated. And uh, see you guys later.